Okay, so now in this video we will be adding gravity and falling speed to our player so that when the player is coming down from slopes or stairs, the player stays on the ground, right? So for that, open up your player movement script and in the player movement script right down below, we're going to add a new header. Let's name this header as gravity. And in here, we will create a public float by the name of gravity, which will be equals to minus 9.81. This is the default gravity value in Unity, all right? Then another float, which will be by the name of false speed. And for now, let's set it to 1.5, or actually, let's set it to 5, all right? Then we need to create a bool, so right here create a bool by the name of is grounded okay now if we scroll down at the bottom after the handle rotation we will create another method by the name of apply gravity or you can name this handle gravity if you want right in here we're gonna check that if the player is not grounded so if the player is not grounded then what we're gonna do we're gonna apply gravity and also we will apply the falling speed so that according to that speed the player falls down to the ground okay but first of all we need to check that if the player is grounded or not okay so for checking that what we're gonna do we're gonna create two methods first one will be on collision stay okay let me now remove this private word okay so create a method by the name of on collision stay if you just type on collision state will give you this whole method all right let's name this from other to collision then in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the is grounded to true because if the player is colliding with the ground it means that the player is on the ground all right then we're going to create one more method uh, which is by the name of on collision exit right here instead of other type collision then we will set the is ground is grounded to false right this means that now the player is not grounded anymore and right here it means that the player is grounded all right so now in the apply gravity method we check that if the player is not grounded and if the player is not grounded then let's apply gravity and falling speed so we're going to create a vector 3 by the name of current velocity it will be equals to the player rigid body velocity so we will type player rigid body dot velocity once we have the current velocity then the current velocity dot y will be equals to gravity multiply by the fall speed and multiply by the time dot delta time all right so that the gravity and fall speed is applied over time all right then player rigid body velocity will be equals to the current velocity so right here we just simply create a vector 3 to which we provided the player current velocity and when we apply that then we tag that velocity y and to that y we added the gravity fall speed over time and then that updated velocity will be stored in this current velocity all right then we applied that current velocity back to the player velocity that is all we have to do in the apply gravity method the other change which we will be doing is inside the handle movement so in the handle movement right after this vector 3 movement velocity we will say movement velocity dot y equals to player rigid body dot velocity dot y 
and the reason we do this is to maintain current vertical velocity all right so once you do this then scroll up right here call the apply gravity method in there then that is it we will now save the script and now if we get back right here and play the game you will notice the player is walking all right let's run towards the slope the player is running on the slope perfectly fine and now if you move down as you can see the player is not in the air the player is moving down to the ground perfectly fine all right as you can see we can walk on it as well and the player is staying on the ground perfectly fine as you can see okay and if you want you can increase the fall speed right here but I'm gonna leave it on 5 because on 5 it works perfectly fine but you can change this value according to your own liking and now with the gravity and falling speed added let's end this video right here